In this overview video, I want to give you a little bit more context for the graphical programming language we will be using in this class that's called Max MSP. So what you see up here is the Cycling74 website, cycling74.com, and that's the company that makes Max. So you want to go to this website and you can poke around here and learn some things about Max here, but this is also where you download it. So go to the download tab and you're going to want to download Max for the rest of this video so you can walk through the patch with me. Make sure that you get the right one for your operating system for Mac or Windows and follow the prompts for your operating system. They're a little bit different for each one. Once you have it downloaded, then you should be able to open up the files that I've given you in the modules. And one of them is this Max patch here. So when you get to this point, then press play on your video again, and you can follow along with this patch. So uh, Max is a graphical programming language. It looks different maybe from what you've seen before in programming languages with lines of text. So graphical means that there are these objects on the screen that we can actually move around and connect up together with these little chords. And the, the chords actually, we call them patch chords because the metaphor for this graphical language is uh, analog music synthesizer, like patch bays, so taking cables and inputs here and outputs here. And you can see on each of these objects, there are these half circles on the top and on the bottom, all of them have this, and these are called inlets on the top and outlets on the bottom for data that goes in and then gets processed by an object and then the outputs come out of the outlets. You can also see there's like different kinds of objects that are on the screen and we differentiate them visually. So the basic object is just this, this flat object with maybe a title and maybe some other words or numbers inside of it. And then you also see uh, these, something that looks like buttons. These are called messages. There's also this toggle button, which presumably you can click on. And in fact, we can click on it. And then we also have some other graphical displays like this filter. I can actually click and move around some of these graphs and this volume slider. I could adjust the volume if I wanted. So we're going to walk through this patch. Uh, we'll turn some things on. We'll start on the right hand side. There's another toggle that says Start LCD Drawing. Okay, when you turn that on, we're just generating some basic 2D shapes. You can change the shape if you'd like. And I'm going to also turn on this video. This chicken video comes with Mac, so you should have it as well. And I have some effects. This video I'm processing with some, some blurring and also some saturation. And I can actually click and drag on here. If you're like, hey, mine's not working, I can't click and drag, that is because you are probably not in locked mode. You're probably in edit mode. So down at the corner of your screen right here, there's an unlock button and a lock button. If you are moving objects around, that's because you are in edit mode. You need to make sure it's locked and then you can uh, click on all these toggles and adjust all these buttons. All right, I'm going to just turn this off because my computer's tanking a little bit on response time. Uh, you can also see I'm mixing different videos together over here. And uh, we also earlier saw some quick audio. So what I have here is an audio file. This is a recording of a rain stick. And I'm sending it through a band pass filter which I'm automatically shifting up and down. And this number that I'm generating to create the band pass, I can use this number to control something else. So this is the heart of Max, is that I can take all these numbers and uh, connect them together so that I can connect one input, like an accelerometer from a, a Nintendo controller or from uh, some video input or some audio input and connect it up to control something else. So you'll see in the middle, there's a patch cord with a red X on it. If you unlock your patch, go back to edit mode, 
and right click on this patch, you can choose sorry, this patch cord right here. You can choose enable patch cord and that's going to allow whatever data was supposed to go through this cord to actually go through. So I'm going to do that and suddenly notice that my video is getting super blurry at the same rate as my filter. I can connect these things together. Another thing you could do is you could take the audio input, turn this off for a second, and you could uh, uh, check to see how loud it is. That's what I'm doing here at any given moment. And you could use this to control another effect. I'm gonna turn that on. And now my saturation is getting also affected with the audio. One final thing is that if you want your own sound files in here, you can absolutely do that. Just take a sound file from your computer and drop it straight into this playlist. So maybe Rogers for your day. I hope you have fun with this and please don't worry about understanding at all how any of this is happening because these are all things that we're gonna get to throughout the course.